Welcome, researcher. The following games are designed to give you more exposure to some of the entities that we have identified and contained. However, in reality, I will remind you that this is not a game. These anomalies are dangerous. They pose a significant threat to our global security, and they will inflict serious physical or psychological harm if left unattended. It is important that you understand these entities for your own safety and for your efforts in protecting mankind. We secure, we contain, we protect. Good luck, researcher. Welcome to SCP-2316. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. This is a web game, so we have two choices. We go in straight away, having no idea what this SCP is, and we learn through our mistakes. Or we go down, and we read about it, and then we know exactly what we're dealing with, ready to go in. I do like to go in blind. And it's nice to be able to learn SCPs through your mistakes and then kind of clarify them afterwards. So let's begin our examination. By order of the Overseer Council, the following file describes the Kether class anomalous cognito hazard and is level 42316 classified. Unauthorized access is forbidden. Spooky. The following file contains images and text that are carriers for anomalous cognito hazardous influences. You do not recognize oh, the line by the water. Due to this, it is imperative that all personnel accessing this file be certified as having a cognitive resistance value CRV of no less than 14.5. Should you fail an automated CRV verification, please remain calm and do not move. A member of your site's medical staff will be with you shortly. Good job, my cognitive resistance value is up in the 50s. Please repeat the following phrase slowly and clearly into your terminal microphone. So we have to hold spacebar. I do not recognize the bodies in the water. Ah, need to allow the microphone. Here we go. I do not recognize the bodies in the water. Perfect. I passed the test. You will now be presented with a series of multiple choice questions. You, you, you are expected to complete each question to the best of your ability. I will do my best. <laughs> do you recognize any of these individuals? I do not. Oh, I have to click. I thought I was microphoning. I do not. Ooh. What emotion does this image induce? Comfort or dread? What do you think? I'm thinking dread. Oh, this one's even better. How many bodies can you see in this picture? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Over ten. What did that say? Have you ever lost loved ones? Yes. I know where they are. I can show you them. Oh boy. Look into their eyes! Oh! Please repeat the following phrase slowly and clearly into your terminal microphone. I do not recognize the bodies in the water! Huh? I do not recognize the bodies in the water! Verification incomplete. Y -y -y user CRV is not within acceptable limits. You don't know user that! User CRV is influenced by active cognito hazards. Please stay calm and aim I am very cognitive. I think. Can you hear them? You, you, you know these people. I don't They're know the people. Friends. Don't listen to what they tell you. They're waiting for you. Waiting to be reunited again. Join I don't want them. that. I don't Walk want into that. the water. I don't want Recognize that. Recognize their faces. I don't want that. L look into their eyes. I really don't want that. Thank you. <laughs> and and that's it. Uh huh. Right. So what happens if we do some of the other answers? Okay. Do you recognize these individuals? Yes, this one. This one right here. I do. What emotion does this image induce? Nothing but comfort. This, this is what I dream of at night. 
and it just sends me to sleep. How many bodies do you see in this picture? Uh, none? Zero? There is always room for more, that's what it said. Lovely. Have you ever lost loved ones? Never. No, 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 no. The key is having no one to love. If you love no one, you can't lose them. Oh, okay. So it looks like regardless, the answer is always the same, or the outcome's always the same. I do recognize the bodies in the water. Verification incomplete. <laughs> user I, I think I can just say anything in that section. Limits. User CRT influenced by active cognito hazards. Please stay calm and aim the Can you hear them? You, you, you know these people. They One of them are looks your like friends. Walter White. Don't listen to what that they one. tell you. They're waiting for you. Waiting for to me. be reunited again. That's Join special. them. Walk into the water. I shall. Recognize their faces. I will. Look into their eyes. And see. <laughs> I'm just a poor boy who failed his examination. Okay, so from that, before we look at this this anomaly, I can assume that it's a test that you take that has a negative effect on your sanity, and then maybe eventually it will make you go and drown yourself. That's the prediction. Containment class Keter, level 4 secret. Is these disruption and risk classes? I don't know if I've not seen these before, but... It's nice to see a bit more detail on that. The following file contains images and text. Oh, you know what? Let's let's zoom in. The following file contains images and text that are carriers for anomalous cognito hazard in co cognito hazardous influences. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. Due to this, it is imperative that all personnel accessing this file be certified as having a cognitive resistance value of no less than fourteen point five. We have read all of that. Special containment procedures. Under no circumstances are Foundation personnel to approach SCP-2316. Observation of 2316 must only be carried out by remote dummy probes utilizing video and audio recording equipment. Only those personnel adequately rated for exposure to cognito-hazardous anomalies may review footage and audio of SCP-2316. Whew, that's a mouthful. The lake in which SCP-2316 is located has been quarantined and fenced off, and is to be routinely patrolled by individuals who have not been exposed to it before, and have no prior knowledge of its characteristics. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. Individuals who attempt to bypass the enforced quarantine must be apprehended and moved to Site-33 for a full cognitive influence screening. Individuals who come within 50 meters of the lake containing SCP-2316 are to be considered lost. Uh -huh. So it's proximity based. 2316 is the designation for an anomalous phenomenon existing within Lake Redacted, within Redacted County Redacted. SCP-2316 manifests as a group of human corpses floating in a small group at the surface of the water. Lovely. The identities of these corpses are... <laughs> though DNA testing has been inconclusive. While SCP-2316 appears to be individual instances, it is theorized that 2316 may instead be an entity composed of a collective consciousness. Where have we heard that before? Individual instances of 2316 do not act on their own, but do seem to be able to act collectively as a single unit. The individual instances of 2316 are unrecognizable and... Do not the in the water. 2316 hosts a powerful cognito-hazardous effect, causing those who have viewed 2316 are aware of certain parts of its nature, or who were enrolled in the <laughs> to believe that the individual instances of 2316 are human beings they recognize, typically from their childhood. Attempting to come into contact with 2316 instances by way of entering Lake Redacted, or touching an instance of 2316, will cause other instances of 2316 to appear. The, the additional instances only serve to reinforce and add to the strength of the cognito hazard, compelling affected individuals into the lake, Individuals who enter the lake in this way are lost, and to date none have been recovered. Okay, so we were close. Not quite a quiz, but more 
the lake itself is the entity. No, well, 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 back out a little bit, right? <laughs> the bodies in the lake are the entity. And at any point, should you go near it, you recognize the bodies, you add yourself to the collection. Lovely. This one is called The Entity Room. Not to be confused with the film The Room, which I've heard is quite terrible. So there you go. Fun bit of trivia for you. But in this one, we are going to be in an underground laboratory, researching a entity and making sure that it is well fed and that the room is cleaned at the end of each day. February 18th, 1987. First day at the news section. I hope everything goes well. And why wouldn't it? It's a beautiful place. So this isn't technically an SCP game, but we can assume it's probably going to be heavily inspired by it. Especially given the fact that we've got these kind of like single color walls. Very similar to the foundation. F for flashlight, which we're not going to need because the place is so well lit. And I'm assuming this isn't my first day on the job. I'm a regular here at the bunker, wherever the hell this is. Seems like it's underground to me. Speaker systems. It's very quiet. It's one of those jobs that I guess you do in complete isolation. Not sure I'd be a huge fan of that. Oh, my monitor just turned off. Oh, <laughs> there we go. I'm back. 014. Ah, interesting. And some flammable pipes. Ooh. Okay. We're in. So this is either to, I don't know, heat the place or, you know, dispose of the entity should it do anything bad. Or maybe incinerate the food. The hell is that? Like, intestines? Guts? Do you hear that? Thud. Something's inside. So I'm guessing they're probably the cells, and this must be the control room. Oh, opens outwards. Cool. And we're in. My familiar office. Lovely. Oh, and there's a bed. So how? why were we outside the front door? We could just stay here forever. Oh, it's beautiful. I have everything I need. Toilet, bed, shelves of nothing, desk of nothing. Probably a locker of nothing, too. Perfect. All right, let's get to work. Email, CCTV, and doors. Email. From the ERF. This is an automatic email. Do not reply. Description of Entity 014. Highly dangerous. Of terrestrial origin. Bipedal, uncanny, human-like appearance. Skin doesn't reflect light. Glowing red eyes. Body mass consists mostly of human meat. Develops more human-like appearance over time. Doesn't kill prey before eating. Extremely agile. And can jump far distances. That sounds horrifying. Incidents. Total power failure, resulting in E014 escaping the room and killing the operator. And another one of redacted. By partaking in this operation, you agree that the Entity Research Facility, also known as ERF, will not be held responsible for any form of physical harm. Great. The Entity Research Facility, the ERF. <laughs> sounds familiar. Oops. And one from Matt. Hello. My name is Matt. I was assigned to take care of onboarding you. So, your job is actually pretty easy. The entity needs to be fed once a day with exactly one prisoner. To do that, just open the door, R1 in, through your computer. After it is eaten, the respective room needs to be cleaned. Open the door, R1 out, through your computer. You'll need a strong stomach, but you get used to it. First throw the body parts, if there are any left, into the container. Then clean the blood with a mop. Best regards, Matt. Sounds pretty easy. Meat goes in. Mess comes out. I clean mess. Sounds good to me. CCTV. Why? Okay, we can't look at our rooms, but there's three small rooms in the entity room. Oh, it's in room one. Something's in room one. Okay, that's that's going to be the entity. Wait, does that mean there's three of them? <gasps> that makes sense. Of course they're going to have more than one. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of this one. This one's very snapped. <laughs> it's definitely like torso backwards, arms kind of bent. They get more human the more they eat, or the longer they stay around. 
Entity room. Error. Operator room and hall. I guess we can see those with our own eyes, so we don't need anything else. So the doors, we've got R1 in to let them in, and then R1 out lets them out into the corridor. So the first thing we want to do is definitely not let them out. I'm assuming. We want to let them into the main room, feed them, let them back in their cells. Oh, no, no, no. Let them, let them in the... Let, okay. Let them in the main room, close the doors, then we go in, clean up, then we leave, and then we let them back in again. Let's try that. Okay. Entity number one coming in. Offline, great. Offline, great. So we just assume that he's in the in the room now. Perfect. Now we open our one out. And pray that I've done my job correctly. And that should hopefully, there'll be a nice open door. Entity won't be inside. I'm going to live. Everything's going to be great. Great! And I'll clean up the mush. Oh, you really made good work of your meal today. Old Sally here didn't stand a chance. I should remove the body parts first. That sounds like a good idea. I was just going to kind of like push them around a bit with the mop. It'd be fine. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Arm? Leg? Really long neck? Uh, I mean, you guessed as good as mine on this one. Liver? <laughs> mushy bits. They're just mushy bits. It's fine. We probably have, you know, like, when you put loads of livestock in, like, a big, you know, okay. How you make sausages, right? You just stick it all in a big meat grinder, turn the, the crank, and you make sausages. That's probably what we do with people, too. Here at the ERC, we make people sausages. Perfect. Good job. It's looking nice. Right. And so now we need to go ahead and close the door, let the guy in, and then jobs are good. I don't know if they can interact with each other. Like, should we be letting two entities in at once? It's hard to tell. New email, though. Oh, it's the ERF, not the ERC. Makes sense. From Matt. Hey, good job. Looks like you're a natural. Have you checked the CCTV? Nowadays they might even have a night vision mode. Pretty heckin' cool if you ask me. Oh, by the way, in case you were wondering, while the entity is eating, the CCTV is taken offline. We don't want our operators to be disturbed. Anyway, you're done for the day. You can go to sleep already if you want. Tomorrow will be pretty similar. Feed the entity, clean the room, rinse and repeat. Kind regards, Matt. You've gone from best regards to kind regards, Matt. Are we becoming less friendly by the minute? So we close the door, open the door. Nope, just gonna leave it in the middle. Cool. Sounds good to me. I'm ready to go to bed. Oh wow, we really are camping out here. Cool. I guess we do like a three day night shift. Fantastic. Can I hear anything before I sleep? Ooh, okay. <laughs> uh. I really have to sleep that close? Sure thing. Okay. Sweet dreams. Oh, God. I hate alarms. Where is it? Probably this, right? Okay. Well, another dawn, another day. Not that we know that it is day, because we're completely under ground. Uh, we lost power. In a facility like this, that's not a good sign. Doors are closed. Okay. And I guess we've got some emergency lights, so not the end of the world. Computer's still up and running. Ugh, these old buildings, they always fall apart. Oh, power failure. Who knew? <laughs> good morning. You probably saw that the lights aren't working. Don't worry. It's basic maintenance on one of our electricity generators. It's just the lights. Everything else still works fine. Just use your flashlight. Today will be pretty similar to yesterday. Press the button, R2 in, open the door so that the entity can have a feast with the prisoner in room two. If the entity wants a breakfast, don't let it wait. P.S. Don't forget to clean the room afterwards. Kind regards, Matt. Still on the kind regards, huh? Cool. 
So maybe we'll get to see a prisoner in this room. No. Oh, come on. I know it's disturbing, but I want to see it. I want to see this guy get up as well when we open the door. It'd be cool. I'm really tempted to open the door as well. Just let it out into the corridor. <laughs> okay. Oh, it won't even let us. Fine. Go have your meal. Is that good? Do you enjoy it? Okay, that was the door closing again. Perfect. So now we can go and do our job. Woohoo. Probably have my flashlight on too. Just in case. Ah. You left a little bit more than the last one, actually. Although, ooh. God, they're strong. Very strong. This one, I guess, prefers the flesh more than the limbs. Or the, like, you know, whatever this is. The gloop. Tim didn't stand a chance. I wonder what happens when that barrel gets full up as well. Where do we take it? What do we do with it? Make more sausages? Oh, right, yeah. So we give them the person. They leave bits behind. Then we make sausages out of the residue. Makes sense. It's probably like a front for a butcher's upstairs or something. It's like Sweeney Todd. It's kind of gross, but <laughs> there you go. Ah. Nothing like a hard day's work sweeping up the blood of... I don't know. Death row inmates. Bingo. I wonder when we're gonna, when we're gonna change that water as well. I guess if we put it in a red bucket, we'll never know that the water's red. It just looks red because of the bucket. It's fine. Okay, so that's looking good. Place is clean, got another email. Doing good, great work. Hey, good job again, dude. You really are a natural. I know hearing those screams can have a negative effect on your psyche, but trust me, those people we're feeding to the entity are scum. They did unspeakable, highly immoral things to other people. They should be happy that they're allowed to contribute to this experiment. We sometimes jokingly call them organ donors. Anyway, our research on Entity 014 could lead to breakthroughs, not just for the military, but also medical purposes. Always keep that in mind when you're doing your work. P.S. You're done for the day. Time regards, Matt. Thanks, Matt. That made me feel much better in the know. That this scum is all for the greater good. Hmm. Would be nice to have some lights, though. Hello. Nighty night, Entity. See you in the morning. Uh... What's going on? Wait. Was that, was that in the big room or was that in the corridor? Uh, uh, check the cameras. Check the cameras. Okay, nothing in there. Makes sense. It's in the main room. Nothing in there. It's in the main room. This guy's still there. That's good. And D <gasps> room. That wasn't a person? The hell was that? Hey, day three. Not that exciting now, is it? Usually, that's the point where your work is becoming a boring routine. Anyway, you probably know what to do. Feed the entity, clean the room, take a poop, bust a nut, go to sleep. I'm just joking. It's important to have a sense of humour working in an environment just like this. Anyway, tomorrow, a new batch of prisoners will arrive. Fresh meat. Don't worry, they're handcuffed and our guards will bring them into their rooms. Just make sure those rooms are clean. We don't want them to be uncomfortable. P.S. The entity room camera works again. Time regards, Matt. Oh, that makes more sense. The prisoners are in here. And the entities... Oh, it literally says the entity room. I thought these were like little bedrooms for the entities. And they all just slept in here. Because it said they look like people. Like, how am I meant to know that they're not these people, right? So you're about to get eaten alive by the entity when we open it in. Oh. Okay, cool. In you come. Mmm, very good. Enjoy your meal. Cool. 
They eat very quickly as well. Scarily fast. Third door out. Brilliant. So what, we get these three done, then they come down with another three. And then we rinse and repeat. You left the head? Arguably the best part. There's good stuff in there. Maybe they can detect if people are messed up or not. They kind of like monitor your psyche, determine. Maybe the most unstable ones are the most tasty. This guy was kind of normal. Maybe he just did some light crimes. Kind of ended up in this place, didn't really need to be. It was all a horrible mistake, misunderstanding. The other two, they'd done hideous things. They were messed up. They needed to be eaten. This guy. Maybe he was just like, you know, stealing some stuff for his family. Feeding the kids. Oh, here we go again. Ah, perfect. So far, so good. A couple of, like, creepy little CCTV camera things, but that's that's fine, you know, it's all part of the job. We are dealing with, you know, like, alien entities. So, of course, there's going to be some weird stuff here and there. But not too bad. No email this time? Hmm. I guess we know what we're doing now, so it makes sense. Probably should close those doors, though. Nice. Don't think anything got out. I wonder if a two-door system is the most secure anyway. We should probably have had a third door. With a middle door in between. Just in case it was still in there. Oh, who am I to judge? Let's go to bed! The next day... Okay, so we should have a whole batch of prisoners now. I think. No lights? No lights. <sighs> I want to have a look. No one. Mm. Read this. They want to get rid of you. <gasps> you were fed to the entity. What? Ah, oh, come on. That was just getting good. That was really fun, actually. It's a shame that it ended so suddenly like that, but I guess for kind of like a small tech demo to get you into this, that was really good. Keep up the good work. Oh, I love the style on this one. SCP Advanced. Like an old Game Boy game, the SCP Foundation. One of the first iterations of a game based around the SCP Foundation. A little cartridge you plugged into your your Game Boy Advanced. I wonder what the, the maximum size you could put on those cards was. Probably not a lot either. Database or exit game? Database. Controls. Was to move, left mouse to interact. Enter or right click to close menu. Escape to return to last menu. Input an SCP number of your choosing. Ooh. Input at least three digits. Ha! Huh. Any any SCP? What was that one that got your toes? Ah, oh, that was horrible, wasn't it? It was 076. No, 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 3076. That one. Access denied. Hmm. So I guess, I well, reading up on this, there's 30 SCPs that are currently in the game. I don't know the list of them, but you can obviously assume that they're probably going to be based around some of the most popular ones. Let's see how far we go, though. I know we played SCP... I think it was 002 recently. I know that that's in here. Yes! It's one of the screenshots. Ah! Oh, look at us! We just slide along. Whee! So we have a blink meter. Instantly suggests 173's in the game. Why wouldn't it be? Don't... I don't think I've got a force blink on this. But we can definitely go and check out the living room of flesh. As we have many times before. A. The hell is A? A-Z? Can I click on it? Ah! 
Left mouse, that's what that is. And we're in! It looks remarkably similar to when we were here the last time, actually. Oh, and we're dead. <laughs> we turned into some books. Not bad, not bad. Can we turn into anything else? Give me some chance to get in here this time. So, carpet, lamp, don't do anything. And I'm a lamp. <laughs> this reminds me of a really old game I used to have on the Xbox. It was called Intellivision. It was like a really old retro game. It was kind of inspired by the old arcade consoles that you used to kind of go to. You had just like loads and loads and loads of them that you'd be able to kind of like switch between. It was kind of like a, a multitude of games all stacked into one and you kind of had this big menu lobby where you'd switch between all the different arcade machines. And they're all really kind of like stupid two minute, five minute games, but hours of entertainment. Similar to the 42 all-time classics on DS as well. That was a great one. Okay, we got a C173. It's essential. Oh god. Ooh. Is there a fixed distance on that? It looks like it's kind of getting closer. It's almost like snake in a way. Is there nothing we can do about this? Dude, you blink way too often. Hold your eyes. Can I leave? Let me go. Oh, there's a vent. And I'm done. So interestingly, there's no obvious list of SCPs. So it really is kind of up to us to kind of just figure this out. Discover the ones that are in here. 049 must be. Greetings. Do you sense the disease within me? Are you my new assistant? I, I can be. Wait. I said something. No, no you don't. I'm clean. No. It can't be. I don't have it. I'm clean. They quarantined me like so much before I came in there. The sickness has taken hold of you. Don't worry. My cure is most effective. I've heard of your cure. I think I'm good. I'm really good. Come on, no. Oh, this will only take a second. 079. No 079. Ooh. 096. Oh no. This looks dreadful. I'm guessing it's just through here. Uh oh no. Oh no. Is it in here? I think I saw something just down here in the corner. Down here. Oh. See its little feet. Oh no! Shy guy screams and cries loudly. Time to go, 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 time to go. I think we all know how that one ends. Oh oh oh. Oh oh one. Oh oh three. Ooh. SCP 003. I don't know what this one is. We can set the temperature. Oh, whoops. I escaped out of that one. So what is this? It's like a thermometer. Let's make it... Wait, it's 100 degrees? Yeah, let's, let's just reduce that a little bit. Like a nice... Zero. Ooh. Ooh, it's growing. Ooh, make it a little bit colder. Uh, warmer. Warmer's, warmer's the word. 20 degrees. Probably don't want that to happen, right? 50. Oh, it's got me. No, let go. Ah, what? It's like a green Moana. You hear us speaking to you. Hi. You're huge. It's difficult to understand her. You can hear words in your head. It took something from us to grow her. She wants to recreate the world. Oh no, that's a bad thing. We've had that many times. I don't like that. A paradise for humanity. No, we've already got one actually. Huh. That's a weird one. 004. Let's see. Some form of courtyard, like in a prison. 
Or we're outside of a big kind of like church building. What's in here? Pick a rusty key from the box. This one. You picked up the rusty key. Can I go to the side here? No. Does it work? Rusty key. Ah. Do any of these work? We might be here for a while. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, great. And we used this one? Picked up the rusty key. Nope. This one. Oh, nope. This one. Feeling good about this one. Nope. This one. Can I pick up more? Oh, oh okay. Let's just let's take them all. Inventory is full. Okay, don't need the last one. I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Hmm, okay. I need to keep like a running number. Five. Not five. Six. Ooh, key number six. You have entered a large room. I can see that. It's bigger than the building itself. Uh huh. There doesn't seem to be any danger. That's that's good. But it is a bit big. Oh, oh, that's it. Okay. And from there he remained until he starved to death a week later. It's kind of like the back rooms in a way. That's how you get in, you know. You either fall through the world accidentally, or you pick a key that doesn't kill you. Kind of like the Holy Grail, and then you can you can go in manually. Oh, five. All these like low number SCPs are ones that you hardly ever read, so it's kind of cool to see them all kind of implemented here. File cabinet is locked. Okay. Fortunately, there's a key. Picked up an ornate key for the ornate chest of drawers. Picked up a secret document. How do I access secret document? Let's just leave. Secret document. The key suddenly unlocked the door. Huh? That was probably the easiest escape room I've ever done in my life. 06! The lake. Your body is generating itself. What if it doesn't need regenerating? Or you mean like we're like a child now? You've never felt better. That's great. That's good news. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Your body is regenerating itself. What happens if I stay in for too long then? You've never felt better. The Fountain of Youth. Seven. Ooh. A man with a floaty torso. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, it's good to be here. How you doing? Don't mind the planet in my abdomen. Oh, it's a planet. I kind of woke up with it one morning. That would terrify me. But it would be pretty cool. I have no idea how it got there. Do people live on it? Other than that, you're just an ordinary guy? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Care for a game of chess? Sure. Eight. Ooh, we got a soldier in this one. Okay, you're you're all good, yeah? We're good? I'm the D-class, you're the guy in charge. I get it, I get it. Send me in. Broken glass, test tubes. You've gained a high fever. Ah, because it's broken, right? I guess breathing this? Now I have a cold, I can spread it. Kiss me. Now you have severe dementia. Jesus. Anything worse? You become a zombie. Dead. Oh, of course. Oh, wait, wait. Duh. That makes sense. 
I've been going through such the, the, the low numbers for so long now, I forgot about the ones we actually know about. 009. Another control panel. Big old machine down there. Picked up SCP-009 sample. So another kind of liquidy, fluidy, viley type SCP. So I can either take it to the console over there or over here. Tube of water. Touch the liquid or place the item inside. If it's just water, we can have a little poke, right? Nothing happened because it's water. Sure. Put the vial in. Water now has a red hue. And now we poke it. <coughs> you feel a warm sensation. It's just a, just a vial of pee. It made us all speckly. 10, 11, 12. SCP-012. Oh, the music. No, I've lost control. Don't finish it. You attempt to finish the composition. Uh, with your own blood. I need to finish it. How many people would it take to finish this? It's impossible to finish. What if we had an entity that could never die and we just set it to go in and to finish the music? Okay, and then presumably from here, like, doing numbers like this is just going to be silly. So, common ones. Three numbers only. 999. Nine, nine. <laughs> oh, it's... <laughs> Kind of big and creepy from this point of view. I know you're gonna give me a total happiness, but I don't like the way you're approaching me. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. He's into it, okay? I need to kind of warm up to the hug. Let's do it. Ah. Oh, there we go. Blob starts tickling you. Nice. You feel a great sense of joy. And that's all she wrote. I'm gonna just like spam the keyboard for a bit. Ooh, SCP-123. Nice. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'll get back into that one, that's funny. I was just like, what could this possibly be? Just sucked straight into the black hole. Yep. Nothing you could do there. Well, I think we got through a good majority of them. There's probably like a few left and definitely some common ones that my mind is just going completely blank and can't figure out, but... Ooh! We gotta do the stairwell, though, just before we go. We'll do that as the last one. That is... Oh... Oh, it's been so long. Oh, eight, six? Nope. Oh, eight, seven! Oh, of course. Okay. Whew. We're in. Let's go. So we already entered the janitorial closet. And this is just our life now. You hear a child in distress. Makes sense. It's becoming from very far down. Oh, we're going down. It kind of looked like we were going up. But that makes sense. What happens next? We get a face at some point. Instance one. And then from there, it's really just kind of whatever you make up. Unknown. Anything can happen. Although sliding down the stairs makes the whole process a lot easier. That would be an interesting concept for the game. Instead of walking down the stairs very slowly in a horror aesthetic... Oh, Squidward. I didn't know you, uh, you were down here. You do it in a way where you kind of like... You have a tool that allows you to go down the stairs really quick. Maybe just like, you know, like a dinner tray, like in those movies where people just slide down the stairs on them. Something like that, but a bit more advanced. And then the whole game's about covering loads of stairs. Maybe things happen on the 1,000th floor type thing. It's kind of like Spooky's Mansion in a way. Can you survive a 1,000 rooms? All right, Squidward, let's go. <laughs> She's like, bat dead. Yeah. So this is kind of a fun one. Just like tiny little games like that. Pretty much everything you need for the SCP Foundation. And I can genuinely imagine this being a game that you would buy 
for the Game Boy, because they were just that bad. Although, I guess you've got games like Pokemon, so if you compared Pokemon to this, you might be a little bit disappointed. But say it had maybe, like, the first 1,000 SCPs on it. Hmm, maybe a bit too much. Maybe, like, the first 200 SCPs on it. You could get some value out of it. So, yeah. Pretty fun. This concludes today's studies. We hope that you have learned something valuable today that you can apply to your research. Remember, we make our stand against the darkness so that others may live in the light. Stay vigilant and ever committed to our mission. We secure, we contain, we protect. See you next time, researcher.